So this is just a really short video on the shorthand method for doing electronic configuration. So let's write, if you can write the electronic configuration for chlorine. So it should be, so the electronic configuration for chlorine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. So I'm going to show you now there's another way that you can write this. So what you can do is rather, I mean, it start, starts getting rather long. You start getting chlorine and other things, especially when you start getting down to stuff like, um, oh, where's my finger to? Down to iodine. You can imagine this is going to start taking up like half the page. So there's a shorthand way for writing the elements. Um, and what you do is you use the electronic configuration of one of the noble gases. So what you do for chlorine, there's chlorine. You can see chlorine 17. What I want you to do is count backwards until you get to the first noble gas backwards. So 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So the first noble gas we got to is neon. Okay. So neon has got the electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So to do the shorthand method, what you do is you write square brackets neon. And see all these ones in red? They are all the square brackets neon is represents all of these ones in red, so we don't need to write these ones in red. All we have to do is write the ones in green. So, rather than writing out the full electronic configuration for chlorine, I can just write square brackets neon, 3s2, 3p5. Let's try another example. Let's uh, do um, calcium. You can see the electronic configuration for calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. If you want to do the shorthand method, find calcium and just count backwards until you get to the first noble gas. So calcium is 20, so 20, 19, 18, so there's our first noble gas, so we're going to use argon. So we can use uh, all that stuff in red, 1s2, 2s2, etc, to 3p6. It can just, all of it, just be replaced by argon, because that is the electronic configuration of argon. So we can, calcium is, square brackets, argon. And then we can just do the 4s2. And that's the shorthand way for doing calcium using noble gas. I just now want to just sort of, because um, there's a massive link obviously between the periodic table and, this, and these electronic configurations. So, for example, if I said um, what subshell is the, for the outer shell for arsenic, right? Now, you don't need to write out the full electronic configuration to tell me that. Because what you can see, you can see it is in period 4. See, that's period 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's in period 4, which means its outer electrons must be in the 4p, because it's in the p block. Okay? And if I want to work out uh, how many electrons should it be 4p1, 4p2, well, I start at the beginning of the p block, so there, for arsenic, and just count along, so 1, 2, 3. So therefore, the outermost electrons for arsenic it is 4p3. So similarly, if you were asked for the, what would be the outer for uh, radium, well, it's in the um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's in 7s and 1, 2, so 7s, 2.